Let's try something else um, that, that'll be interesting. So we have our B, our B major triad, right? B flat, I mean. That's in the key of B flat. That's the one chord, right? Now, if we wanted to move the move our low note up, let's say from, uh, there's a few ways actually we could look at this. Um, if you play a B flat major seven like this, then what we can do is we can try moving our low note up the scale. So let's put it on the nine and do the same chord. All right, and what we could do now, we could actually have the same note two times in a row in our, in our bass. See that? It's B flat major nine but it's super deceptive because ordinarily if there's an extension in the in the bass, it's going to sound like a different chord. It's going to sound like a C chord. Um, but we know that it is what it is. It's a B flat major 7 that has a 9 in it. The fact that that's a low note is um, not, not too game changing. I mean, it's game changing enough to be interesting. But so that's your, your B flat 9, major 9, to the D seven third inversion and then what you had is you had that the whole time you know put this in a rock band context and you got a bass going you know and over it you could play or whatever and that happens it's over it the whole time and the bass and guitar you have keyboards you know kind of interesting um, all right and then why don't we bring this bass down um, to the fifth of the E flat and we can do an E flat major triad second inversion all right now we're gonna get really interesting we got the we got we got the fifth twice, right? So let's move that up a whole step, so that it'll be the uh, the the uh, the thirteen. Now this shape you might recognize as our C minor shape, third version. So what we've done is we've in a way we've um, we've uh, reharmonized it. So now we had was this, we had, we, what we did essentially is kind of cool. We did a, a, a B flat major seven chord that's going to sound like a C. A C of some kind, like a sus. And then we've got a D7 third inversion, which has the bass line of a, of a, of a, uh, and the bass is a C. And then we had the uh, E flat, uh, E flat triad with the fifth in the bass, and then we moved our second fifth up to the to being a sixth, so that it wouldn't be redundant. Which is actually deceptively kind of a C minor triad, sec, a third inversion. So what the, what that means, kind of in a way, is this, we went from a C C chord to a D over C to C minor. So in a, in a way, we took now now we're doing really really exciting stuff. Actually, we've got our melody that goes, and we are playing it all over C. So if we're doing a C, if we're doing a C um, sus chord here, we could just do a C sus chord. Uh, a sus four, because because the the fifth of the B flat is the four of the C. Anyway, but, uh, so, I'm going to, instead of making just a C minor sus chord, I'm going to do a C minor seven sus. 
I'm doing that because the melody has a has would has a B flat in it, and the B flat is the flat seven of the C. Um, now there's a way we could have known that C minor would have worked without having to go through all those like without having to make it as a discovery. Instead of having to discover it, something we could have just known. How could we have just known it? Well, if we start off in the key of B flat, then we should know the chords within the key of B flat. That's major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So major, minor. And then we know, oh, we could do a C minor. Or major, minor, minor. We could do D minor. This is pretty cool because then we could we could do our song. We could go from D minor to our second chord, which is D7. Yeah, so we could do D minor 7, D7. Yeah. And then to E flat major seven. Which we just do, see, we just basically then just moved up a fret. So we had D minor seven, D seven, E flat major seven. Oop, there we go. You could do them as triads if you wanted. If you do reharmonize it, it uh, I mean, all we did really there is change the first chord. It, it creates a re it's a really dramatic effect. I mean, if you were to solo over B flat, maybe play and then to the D the D seven to the E flat, you know. But if you were thinking of it instead as D minor, you would be playing maybe D minor pentatonic. So next we have a G7. You can just play G7. Um, but what key are we in here? If we have a G7 chord. Well, seven chord's got to be a five chord. So what is G the five of? Right, exactly. So we're in the key of C. We could reharmonize that within the key of C. Uh, they're playing a G note, which could be important to know. But we could play, uh, we could play a C major there instead. Uh, actually, this would be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, we could play a C major instead of uh, that G7. And C major has a G in it, obviously, the fifth. So that's not going to be a problem with the melody. And then the next chord is C minor. So that's pretty fancy. So then we've done this trick twice. We have like our... Um, our uh, over the B flat major seven, we could do C minor. And then over the D flat seven, or sorry, D seven, we could do C, D seven slash C. And then to the E flat major seven, we could just do an E flat major. And then over the G, we could play C. Then to C minor, we could just go back to C major over that G. And let's try the next one. Next, we got a C7. So what key is that in? Um, it is the fifth, yeah. 
C7, what's it the fifth of? Right. So we could, if we wanted, we could do an F there instead, right? The melody goes G, oh, sorry, D to C, which would be like uh, over an F triad. Like that. Ends on the, it resolves on the, on the fifth. And next we have an F7. So what key is that in? B flat, yeah. So, um, um, you could do B flat over that. The melody goes like that. Cool. Then what's actually kind of cool is if you're doing a B flat major triad, the next chord's D minor. So what you could do is you could just go down to D minor second inversion, which starts on an A. So you have this. pretty cool sounding. 